This is a pretty important position because it can come up in your own games and you need to play exactly if you're going to win. Notice that we're up a pawn, but our pawns are blockaded by his king, and he has a passed pawn that is nearing promotion, and our king cannot catch that one. So we need to play exactly. First thing to know here in this position is that a pair of pawns that are diagonal like this, blockaded by a king, are self-dependent against that king. In other words, the king can never capture the rearward pawn without allowing the forward pawn to advance, and that's the case here. The king cannot ever capture this pawn without allowing us to promote, which means our king does not have to defend that pawn. Our own pawn defends that pawn, even though pawns don't defend backward. He defends by threatening to promote if you take me. Now, that's going to help us solve the puzzle because we don't want to just advance and promote thinking, well, we'll decoy the king away and then escort the pawn up because he gets another turn. And once he takes up residence on B1, which is no longer controlled by this pawn because it's gone, once his king is on B1, there's no extracting him. So the thing that you need to do is a technique called shouldering, which means basically we need to form a corridor that prohibits his king from ever accessing the B file, which means we need to be able to access the C2 square with our king, which means we need to play king to D3, even though that lets him push his pawn. We now decoy his king so that we can shoulder the king, so that we can promote the B man, so that we can win the game. So there's check. And now the shouldering technique, go ahead and promote your queen. You're never going to be able to move it like a queen because you're never going to have time because this is check and this is check and this is checkmate. Oh, yeah. <laughs>